All right, so my family and I moved to a new home. Our last home, the main floor was all carpet, and in this home, it is actually hardwood. And, you know, we ended up buying a rug and thought that we might get some other rugs, you know, mainly one for the hallway as a runner rug. For people that walk up and down the hallway and our dog gets really excited, jet towards the door when people come and has nothing to stop on and tends to just, you know, slide all over the floor and scratch it a bit. Another place we were considering it that we actually got this play mat um, was in our kids' playroom, just, you know, something softer for them to uh, play on. And then we just kind of forgot about it and didn't get a rug, but it was always kind of in the back of my mind. And, you know, life happens, a year passes by, we never got anything. The reason I bring that up is, you know, I was just going through my emails and I got this email that was like, hey, we saw you have a YouTube channel and review products. You know, we have some rugs. Would you want to try one for free and make a video on it? And up until this point, I get a lot of those kinds of emails and I've always ignored them because I've never needed the product, but kind of felt guilty and was like, well, I guess I was thinking about buying a rug. I might actually buy one in the future. Might as well just try this one out, see if it's good. So I replied and said, hey, yeah, I'd be willing to do that as long as I can be honest, you know, have the ability to say if I don't like it and put cons in the video um, and that sort of thing. But yeah, I actually am in the market of uh, getting some rugs and I'll try yours out. So they agreed to that. The company is Matais. I'll put links down in the description if you wanna check out their stuff. But I went to their website and looked at what they were selling and I saw this like, you know, carpet tile or carpet plank. And at the time when I saw it, I thought this was a totally new thing and didn't exist. But little did I know, yeah, this has been around for a very long time. There's a whole industry around carpet tiles and I've even been on carpet tiles and just didn't even realize that I was on them. So this isn't a new thing or anything, but in my defense, I think where I got confused is I was looking at it more of like a rug perspective and not a carpet perspective. And that brings me to my next point is I really think there's like two different categories or ways that you would use carpet tiles. And one is, you know, as like carpet to cover an entire floor. And the other situation would be as a rug to cover just a, a region or small area on a floor like a hardwood floor or something. And when it comes to using it as carpet, I think it's pretty simple. In my humble opinion, just go in the traditional carpet roll with like, you know, the stuff that comes on a big roll and they spread it out over the whole room is gonna be the way to go. But where I feel like you might wanna consider carpet tiles is if you're doing a non-permanent installation. Like for instance, maybe you're renting from a place and there's hardwood in the bedroom, but you'd prefer carpet. Well, then it would make sense to use the carpet tiles because they're easy to install, they're not permanent. When you move out, it's not a big deal. So there are certain situations where I think it would be beneficial to use the carpet tiles. Another one I could think of is, you know, you have a home, it's an unfinished basement, it's a cold concrete floor. One day you're gonna finish the basement, but in the meantime, as a temporary solution, you could throw some carpet tiles down there just so you're not on cold concrete. But as far as rugs go, and that was how I was always kind of like viewing this in my perspective, this might be an option. And I was really trying to think like, when would it be better to use something like this versus just your traditional rug? And I think really where these could shine, or at least in my opinion, is the ability and flexibility to have some design input and be able to play around with it and change up the design. At least for me, that's where I would maybe consider using these over just a traditional rug. Now there's other reasons I'll get into the pros and cons here soon, but I'm just trying to give you my perspective and thought process with just learning about something I didn't know about. But I am not a design person. So realistically, like for me personally, had I not gotten that email, I would have never just like bought these. I probably just would have bought a rug, but because I'm like, well, I guess, might as well take some free carpet since I'm gonna be in the market for it anyway. I should try these out and see what it's like. So let me just kind of tell you what that experience was like. So the first thing they did was they sent me these free samples, which if you go to their website, it says they cost 20 bucks, but at least at the time in this video, they give you a promo code right on the website to be able to get this for free. So I don't know if that'll be forever, but you can get a free sample of the different colors and just get an idea of what the material is like. So that was the first step as I got these. And when I did get them, I was surprised at the quality. Um, it comes with this like special backing that basically makes it so that it uh, sticks to the floor. There's no adhesive or anything, you can pick it right up, but at least shifting it you know, around the floor, as long as the floor is clean and it's a relatively flat surface. This backing does a really good job sticking to the floor. I thought the carpet material was actually really nice. It feels good. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the quality in a minute, but you, I could just tell it was a good high quality product from the samples. So based on, you know, the colors of my home and stuff, 
picked out some pretty neutral, easygoing colors, told them I liked these two, and they actually sent me two different kinds of carpet tiles. So one was square and made of this type of carpet material, and the other one was a plank and made up of this kind of carpet material, which I think really plays into those two categories I was talking about earlier. This is gonna be more beneficial for the category of a non-permanent install, where you're trying to really use it as actual carpet, and this is gonna play more into that category of having a rug that you have the flexibility of design with. But I think it's important to be aware that they are two different kinds of materials in terms of the carpet. This is like a, a closed loop carpet. I don't know, this is like a medium pile. I'm not a carpet expert, but I think you can see the difference. And you'll notice that this right here is about twice the cost, roughly, in terms of square footage as this guy right here. And I think that's just because of the actual quality. You know, in my opinion, this is a lesser quality. It's not as soft or as nice. I also don't think this looks as good as this one. Um, so just be aware of that when you're shopping and looking at them. They got the same kind of backing. So I think a big claim to their fame is the fact that it is a uh, non-adhesive carpet tile. Now there's definitely other carpet tiles where you don't have to use an adhesive, but I think they have this like, uh, backing that's unique to them, and it does work really, really well. To get the best results, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you start with a really clean surface. So definitely make sure to clean the floor before you put it down on there if you really wanna maximize its uh, sticking power. But you can see here, you know, I tested it out, and I'm not gonna say that it's actually perfect. I used a couple different vacuums. It does fine with like a robot vacuum, and I think most vacuums will do well, you know, I do have some Dysons that I think tend to pull on the carpet a little bit more than other vacuums, at least that's been my experience. And I got the Animal Ball 2, which is really trying to get up hair and stuff. And you can see when I did vacuum, it did have a tendency to lift it a little bit. Not much, not bad. I wouldn't say it's an issue you need to worry about, but I also don't wanna give you the false premise that like, you know, it just sticks perfectly and you can't shift it if you really try. I did notice that the squares uh, did better with sticking. I think it's just because it has a little bit more surface area, so it's harder to shift them around an entire square. Where a plank, you know, if you're trying to shift it this way, it's not gonna go anywhere, but if you shift it this way, since it's not as much uh, area as like the square, I think it just doesn't hold as well. But like I said, Nothing I would be concerned about. Does a really good job in that area. But yeah, I'm gonna go over some more pros. Definitely go over the cons after that. And then I'll just kind of give my opinion if I would recommend this, am I gonna use it, and just kind of my review on the product. So the other biggest pro, in my opinion, is the ability to play around with the design. Just for me, that would be one of the biggest reasons why I would go this route over a traditional rug or carpet is to have that control and flexibility. And specifically for me in my use case scenarios, I was gonna be using it as a rug. I'm actually most likely gonna use it as a runner for my front door. And I do think it looks nice having a two-tone rug. And it's also cool in my opinion that I can change the design if I choose to at a later date and just kind of get bored with the one that's there. Now another pro is the fact that it's cleanable. So I know that they advertise, you know, that's a big thing. If you were to um, spill coffee or wine or something on your rug, you didn't ruin the entire rug. You could actually pull up just one plank and replace it or take it over to the sink and really thoroughly clean it. Personally, I don't think that's that big of an advantage because you can do that with a rug as well, depending on the size. But I do think it's an advantage that, you know, you can replace individual planks. Cause I imagine if you buy some of these, you're gonna have a couple left over that you could keep somewhere as a backup and use them to replace as they get dirty or if something happens, especially if you have kids. You know, the other place we are considering putting this is in the playroom with our children, just to have a soft area for them to play on as opposed to the hardwood floor and something that's really easy to clean. So the other pro I'd say is, is the quality. Like I was saying, the planks and what you get in the samples, you can tell, in my opinion, it's really good quality. It feels really good on your feet. It feels, you know, uh, soft. There's not a ton of padding, but it does kind of dampen, you know, your sound versus if I step hard does a pretty good job of dampening sound. Another thing that I was like really surprised by is they almost have no odor or smell. And just my experience with new products, especially straight from a manufacturer, is they stink. You know, you get a new carpet, you've got those uh, VOCs or whatever. I was expecting them to have more of a smell to them and they don't, which I know for a lot of people could be a big pro. 
and also leads me to think that they are you know, high quality. And the last pro I would say is if you were to actually try to use it as carpet, it is something you could do yourself. You don't really need a lot of tools versus if you were trying to actually install carpet yourself, that's something I think you would struggle a lot with and you're gonna need tools unless you're super handy. All right, so let's go over the cons. I kind of already alluded to it. It sticks really well, but not perfect. Um, you can see here when I'm vacuuming, it kind of lifts it up. You know, if I really, really, really try, I can get it to move, but it's it's pretty difficult, as you can see, for me to get it to move. Another con is you can see the seams. Not always, but you can see them. And after you vacuum and stuff, I think it does a really good job. But if you're looking for it, I think you can see them. I wouldn't say that they're completely gone. Like you can see them if you're looking for them. They are actually expensive. When I looked up other carpet tiles, you can definitely get carpet tiles like this um, for less, even the ones that are non-adhesive. Now, my intuition I haven't actually compared is that these are a little bit higher quality, especially with their you know special non-stick backing. I'd imagine it does a little bit different. You can tell there's different materials within this. You know, it's soft and pleasant to walk on, where the other ones I was looking that are cheaper, you can tell, yeah, they're cheaper for a reason. It's a very thin material. But, you know, you're putting it as a non-permanent install. Do you really want to spend more money on it? It's kind of up to you. And then the last con I was thinking, which maybe isn't really a con, is just I feel like it's a pretty uh, niche circumstance where it makes sense to use these carpet tiles. Where I feel like predominantly, the majority of the time, the alternative is probably something that's gonna suit your specific needs better, which leads me into like, would I recommend these? And it's like, yeah, I'd totally recommend them if you meet that criteria. You know, if you want a carpet that you can disassemble and clean individually or replace things because you're worried about your kids or pets ruining them, then yeah, these are definitely gonna shine and be useful. If you're wanting to have a rug where you can design it with different colors and create different patterns, then yes, these are gonna be great. And then that last thing is if you have some situation where you want just like a temporary carpet as opposed to whatever is there now, then these are a great solution because you just lay them down and when you're done, you pick them up and get rid of them. But I feel like the vast majority of time when you need carpet or a rug, the traditional methods will work just as well. So if you're in that situation, it's not like I'm gonna recommend, hey, you should get this over the alternative, but that's just my opinion. Personally, we'll use them for a little bit in our front hallway next to the door so that my dog doesn't just slide into the door each time somebody comes. You know, I do like the quality and the look of it. You know, maybe one day in the future when we actually get around to shopping, my wife might want to change it out with a different rug, but until then we'll be using this. And then the other square carpet tiles I got I actually gave to my friend. So hope you learned something new here like I did. Um, like I said, get a free sample if you want. Check out the links in the description. They did give me a coupon code of WALTZ18. If you use that, you'll get 18% off if you do decide to use these carpet tiles. And of course, I'll get a small kickback commission for that. But I would definitely try out the samples first. Make sure you like the colors, like the material, that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.